Our thoughts are winds, okay? And our emotions are waters. And the more that we think, the more we whip up the waters till they get into a flurry of waves. And that flurry then sets off more winds. And it just is this circular, spiraling process of thinking and emotions. I think I've shared a number of times here that the average length of an emotion left to its own devices is 1.5 minutes. That's how long an emotion lasts. What keeps it going? The winds of thoughts, right? You have to keep thinking. You have to keep having these thoughts to keep stirring up the waters. So somebody offends you in some way and you feel that upsurge of anger and then the mind starts obsessing about how could they possibly and you start going into your defense and how you're going to do something about it and that stirs up more of that heat and anger in the body that then trips up more thinking so we get into the looping it happens with fear all the time if you have a fear of failure okay, and then you start imagining all the ways you're going to fall short it's going to set off all more fear in your body, which is going to trip off more of the thoughts of what's going to go wrong. So we're regularly in this looping, and this is the looping that we need to learn to um, step out of. Mm-hmm.